السلام علیکم کلاس بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے آور ٹینتھ لیکچر از اباؤٹ دا میتھڈ آف ایسٹیمیشن اینڈ دا ڈی اسکیئر وی ول آلسو ٹرائی ٹو ٹچ دا بیز ایسٹیمیشن اینڈ اٹ ول بی دا آور نیکسٹ لیکچر سو today our lecture is particularly about the method of least care we are uh, in statistical inference going through uh, very uh, deeply the concepts of uh, estimation and we have seen the point estimation qualities uh, must be it should be unbiased it should be sufficient and efficient and uh, the completeness so if in some cases uh, we are unable to find the well, all the qualities of a point estimator then the other options we have we have the other methods and these methods are the method of movements the method of uh, maximum likelihood and the method of least care in our previous lectures we have gone through the properties of uh, point estimation and the method of movements and method of maximum likelihood now our topic is uh, in this lecture the method of least care today we will go through the introduction of least care and what is the difference between the method of movements and method of maximum likelihood and the method of least care we will go through the properties of uh, least care estimation uh, and the least care estimator in the linear models then we will see that the least care is unbiased and what is meant by household decomposition we will go through the optimum properties of least care estimators and the estimation of variance in least care estimation and the violation of classical general least care uh, methods assumptions and the least care uh, method under normality and the, uh, then we will see the least care for ordered data so if we revise our uh, method of least care the method of least care is a procedure to determine the best fit line to data and the least care method uh, through conceptually quite different from the method of uh, maximum likelihood and the method of uh, uh, movements and processed uh, for its own optimum properties so concise that properties concise with the maximum likelihood method in the important cases of normal normal distribution so we have uh, also seen that the method of uh, maximum likelihood estimators of the mean mu is a sample of size uh, n from a normal population with mean mu and variance sigma square is obtained by maximizing the likelihood function and then we take the log of the likelihood function and we take its partial derivatives and then we put the partial derivatives is equal to to the zero and then we find out the value of our estimator and similarly in the method of movements we have the certain equation or the formula that we follow and find out first the raw movements and then the method and then the movements about mean so the least scale method gets its name from the minimization of a sum of scales as in a, a general principle it states that if we wish to estimate the parameter of the vector theta from a set of n observations which are related to the parameter theta through their expectations then we should close our estimator theta to minimize the sum of scale deviations between the y i uh, which is uh, our uh, uh, n observations and their estimated expectations to minimize Uh, sum of y i minus uh, probability of theta if we distribute if the distribution of the y i about their expectations are independently normal with the same variance sigma square then as mentioned uh, in the ma method of maximum likelihood the least scale estimators will be identical with the maximum likelihood estimators of the theta like the maximum uh, a likelihood estimators and uh, its method the least care method has some asymptotic optimum properties but does not generally yield unbiased estimator 
Therefore, in an extremely important class of situations, it has the property even in small samples that it provides unbiased estimators linear in the observations which have minimum variance. This situation is usually described at the linear model in which the observations are distributed with constant variance about mean values, which are uh, linear functions of the unknown parameters and in which the observations are all uncorrelated in pairs. So the method of least care is a procedure, we can say, to determine the best fit line to data. The proof uses simple cal cal calculus and linear algebra. The basic problem is to find the best fit straight line y is equal to a plus bx, where y represents the dependent variables, a represents the intercept of the regression line, and b represents the slope or the coefficients of the independent variable x. So from the fitted curve, we find out the sum of scares of errors, which is equal to the yi minus a minus bxi. It means we subtract the original values from the estimated values and get the, our sum of scares of errors. And then uh, we get the matrix for the uh, regression uh, for the least scale method, y is equal to a plus bx with the matrix of m sum of xi, sum of xi, sum of xi scale, and ab is equal to sum of yi and sum of xy, which can also be represented by the normal two normal equations n of x plus sum of x plus sum of x plus sum of x scale uh, is equal to sum of uh, y and uh, sum of x y so these uh, are also represented with the help of the equations and two normal equations n of a plus uh, b summation x plus uh, a summation x i plus b summation x i scale is equal to sum of y and is equal to sum of x, y. Then we use either the simultaneous method or by the method of elimination, we find out the values of the unknown parameters, uh, which are the intercept A and uh, B is the slope of the line. And this way, the, our regression line is estimated. Here are the formulas to find the um, uh, coefficient beta of the independent variable and uh, then to minimize the coefficient uh, beta uh, to find out its value. So inshallah in the class, we will go through their derivations. And um, if we compare the maximum likelihood estimator and the method of movements with the ordinary least care methods, then typically yields a closed form solution that can be directly computed uh, from the ordinary least care and in maximum likelihood estimation, default method for most estimation problems is used generally equal to ordinary least care when ordinary least care assumptions are met and method yields uh, desirable asymptotic estimation properties, foundation of Bayes inference and requires numerical method. So maximum likelihood estimator is as efficient as the ordinary least care method. The linear regression equation uh, is of the form by, uh, if we see in the matrix form, then it is equal to beta hat represents the uh, vector of uh, intercepts, beta one uh, represents the vector of slopes, and xi represents the matrix of uh, independent variables, ei are the epsilon or the standard errors that follow the, that are independently identically distributed with the a normal distribution with mean zero and variance sigma scale and known as the errors or the residuals. Then we find out the expected value of y when x is given, that will be equal to beta naught plus beta one x is equal to beta naught plus beta one x bar plus beta one x minus beta one x bar. And that yields the mu plus beta one into x minus x bar. Thus, uh, we have uh, mu is equal to beta naught plus beta one x bar. So from here, we find out the value of the residuals also. So if we see the what is meant by the decomposition, uh, 
uh, in the ordinary least care, this composition is a useful explanatory tool for participation of inequalities. Contribution can be further decomposed in the laxity or health and inequality of uh, determinants. And also decomposition is useful for explaining difference or changes. Its limitation, limitation is that linearity of underlying model. So if we uh, see the good qualities uh, of estimation in the ordinary least care, ordinary least care follow the qualities that the unbiased estimator of beta, beta two is an unbiased estimator. Uh, this proof is taken from the Gujarati's book on the page 100 and 109. As other as uh, the seven assumptions relating to the ordinary least scales are uh, given in this uh, book and on the chapter. And um, we have also gone through these uh, properties in our lecture one or two at uh, the start of our semester. So the least scale formulas uh, estimators in the simple regression can be given as beta two is equal to sum of x i y i u or sum of x i scale. And xi over sum of xi square can be represented by ki. So it, the beta 2 will be equal to sum of ki y my, i minus y bar. And if we multiply these uh, sum of ki y i minus y bar into sum of ki, which is equal to sum of ki y, and that is equal to the zero. So um, this means that our estimators are. Uh, unbiased as sum of ki is equal to zero or sum of ki xi is equal to zero. So it's a, uh, other than unbiased estimated properties, it's assumptions are that it's uh, residuals uh, or the expectations of its uh, errors uh, or the random term is zero. The covariance between the mu i and mu j is zero and the variance of mu i is equal to sigma square. So these are the uh, properties of the ordinary least scale um, estimators and also uh, we will go through their proof and the other properties as the other properties are that the least scale regression line always goes through the point x bar and y bar the mean of the data and the sum of the deviations of the observed values of y from the least scale regression line is always equal to zero as it is the property of the arithmetic mean is also that the sum of the deviation from their mean is zero. So the regression, uh, least scale regression has the property that the uh, sum of the deviations of the observed values of y from their least scale regression line is always zero. The sum of the scales of the deviations of the observed values for the least scale regression line is a minimum. This is the third property that y minus y had whole square is equal to minimum. And the fourth property is the least scale regression line obtained from a random sample is the line of best fit because A and B are the unbiased estimate of the parameter alpha and beta. And similarly, it has 11, 12, or 13 more other properties that you can see from the Gujarati's book on the page 100 and uh, uh, onward. So it's violation, if we see the violation of the ordinary least scale assumptions or properties, then we come through the idea or we see the hydrostatity or autocorrelation and the multicollinearity that violate its assumptions that we have the combined effect as we have the, that they are independent. So in the multicollinearity, they are not independent. In heterostatic, they have the same pattern. And similarly, in the autocorrelation, these are the violation of the ordinary or uh, least scale uh, estimators. Least scale line is a best fit. As we see, if we have a ordered data, then the line is the best fit. Simple example is we have taken uh, independent variables x as input variables as one, two, and six, and y as dependent variables output variables two, five, six, two, five, eight. So we find out their mean, we find out the mean of the x and the y, and then we put in the formula and we get the values which give us the best fit as a line. So thank you, class. Uh, this was all. Uh, uh, this was all about the topics that we will 
go through in uh, our lecture and uh, for the out outlets or the lectures in detail uh, we will go through with the definitions and the theorems or the proofs related to the topic and also some examples as we are doing previously we will take a continuous distribution and a discrete distribution and we will see whether the results holds in the continuous or discrete distribution or not so the method of least squares according to the examination point of view and its comparison with the method of uh, maximum likelihood first we take the likelihood function then we take its uh, log and then we take its partially derivative and then we put it is, is equal to zero and we see the values what we get so we see that the likelihood function method gets its name from the minimization of a sum of scales and other properties also we will go through our lecture in detail and then the least scale estimator in the linear model so in the matrix form we will see that y is equal to x theta plus epsilon where y will be an n by one vector of observation x is an n by k matrix of known coefficients with n is greater than k and theta is a k by one vector of parameters and epsilon is an n by one vector of error uh, and also the random variable with the expected of epsilon is equal to zero so its variance uh, is uh, equal to the sigma scale uh, and the item i so and its um, sum of scales will be y minus x theta prime into y minus x theta so uh, where theta ha head has the values uh, uh, x prime x inverse into x prime y so we assume that the x prime x uh, the matrix of sum of scales and products of the elements of the column vector composing x is non-singular and can therefore be uh, inverted so then we will go through the least scale estimated theta head is unbiased uh, with the help of, of the proof then uh, as according to the topic of the lecture we will go through the household decomposition and uh, then the optimum properties of the least scale estimators and similarly we will estimate the variance of the least scale estimator and then we will find out its proof and the general formula for it and then we go through some uh, exercise as an exercise some examples to find out their uh, coefficients uh, of the independent variables uh, and the epsilon and uh, so on relating all the terminologies to the uh, least scales estimator so this will be all inshallah on the sunday 23rd january we will go through these topics and uh, till then uh, allah hafiz and uh, take care of the office